Welcome to Solve It with SpeedTech, where we share common knowledge on how to solve IT and media-related problem. Please, if you are visiting this channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification button for more of this video to come your way. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like and share. In this video, I am going to show you how to keep your laptop closed while you use an external monitor. You will agree with me that laptops are the perfect option for getting work done on the go. But most times, you just need a bigger screen to work with, especially if you're creating a design or editing a video on your laptop. Having a laptop that can quickly be converted into a desktop doesn't require too much effort. By connecting a big monitor to your laptop enables you to display and view your work on a larger screen. But because you connected an external screen or monitor to your laptop, does not mean you have to keep the lid of your laptop open. You might want to close the lid of your laptop so that you can concentrate on the big monitor as you work. Most time when you close the lid of your laptop, your laptop will either shut down, hibernate or enter a sleep mode. So, if you want to close your laptop lid and use the monitor, you will need to follow a few steps to set up your laptop to play well with the setup. You will be needing the following peripherals to achieve this aim. Number 1. You will need an external monitor that is bigger than your laptop screen. You will need either a high-definition multimedia interface, HDMI, cable, display port, DP cable, or visual graphics adapter, VGA, cable to connect the monitor to your laptop depending on the port of both the laptop and the monitor. In this video, I will be using the Visual Graphics Adapter VGA, cable, even though my laptop has both the HDMI port and the VGA port. You will also need an external keyboard and an external mouse, because when you close the lid of the laptop, you cannot be able to use the keyboard and the touchpad of the laptop. To connect the laptop to the monitor, I will take the VGA cable and connect one end to my laptop VGA port and connect the other end to the VGA port of the external monitor. Having done that, there is now a connection establishment between the laptop and the external monitor. You will notice that on the monitor, you can only see the desktop background of the laptop without the desktop icons. This is because my laptop display settings were set to only extend my secondary display to an external monitor. This can be changed by pressing Windows P on the keyboard. That is Windows key on the keyboard alongside with the letter P on the keyboard. This is the shortcut key to switch from extended display to duplicate screen. Having done that, you now have a duplicate screen. Whatever I have on my laptop screen is now displaying on the bigger external monitor. If I decide to close the laptop lid and work with only the monitor, my laptop will sleep, hibernate or shut down depending on the settings. To prevent that from happening, right-click on the battery icon at the right side of the laptop taskbar. Select and click Power Options. On the Power Option dialog box that will appear, click on Choose what closing the lid does. Now there are two options here, when I press the power button and when I close the lid. On the second option, when I close the lid, select Do Nothing while on battery and while the laptop is plugged. Save the changes and close the dialog box. Now close the lid of the laptop. You will see from the external monitor that the system did not enter into sleep mode, hibernate, or shut down. It is very much active even while the lid is closed. Remember to connect your external keyboard and the external mouse to the laptop. As I operate the laptop while the lid is closed, I am using my external monitor to view my work bigger and better. This method can also serve you well if you have a faulty laptop screen.
Now, whatever I am doing on the bigger screen is also displaying on the laptop screen. Do this and tell me your experience on the comments section. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and share. If you are yet to subscribe, please do so now and turn on the bell notification icon. See you in my next video and thanks for watching.